Today we're talking about the military's jack of all trades. The Marines 1371. The Army's 12 Bravo. And then it was a 21 Bravo for a minute. But it's back to the 12 Bravo. And of course, part of the Navy's construction battalion, the motherfucking Seabees. If you haven't figured it out yet, we're talking about combat engineers. There's one thing I can't stand about combat engineers, and that's their job title. When you say engineer to a normal person, they think you're sitting in an air-conditioned office all day on the computer, playing with your tablet, or looking at a set of blueprints. Well, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that to make a living. That is not an accurate depiction of what these motherfuckers do. Now, these guys do a little bit of everything on the battlefield. You need some fortifications built? Call the engineers. You need some shit unbuilt? Call the engineers. And if you need bodies stacked, you can still call the fucking engineers. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say. Combat engineers facilitate the mobility of friendly forces while impeding that of the enemy. Now, while I'm not world-renowned for my reading comprehension skills, when you say facilitate the mobility of friendly forces, it kind of just sounds like you're lubing up the big old slippery fist of the infantry. Now, that's probably the best breakdown of what a combat engineer does that I can give you. Now, let's get into how they do it. Combat engineers always have and always will elect to use brute force every fucking time. And what I mean by that is regardless of what the situation may be, engineers will always incorporate C4. Even if they're just trimming fucking trees. And that's not even the scary part. The scary part is how fucking nonchalant these guys are about handling high explosives. They will literally juggle bricks of C4, and when you go to say, uh, maybe we shouldn't be fucking doing that with the explosives, they go, ah, don't worry about it, it takes shock and ignition to go off, we'll be fine. They are the only people I've ever been around that talk about getting blown up like it's a minor inconvenience. These guys have the same fucking battle plan, regardless of the battle or the situation. They're going to go up to the most fortified position that the enemy has. They're going to cover it in fucking danger putty. Then they're going to blow it the fuck up and have a lead slinging party. Does anybody remember like 10 seconds ago when I said they were really nuts and nonchalant about getting blown up? Does anybody notice that they're using Kevin over here as a fucking meat shield? The worst part is there's still like a 50-50 shot. That guy's not wearing a backplate in that body armor. Combat engineers are iconic. Most people just don't know it. Pretty much any movie where there's a demolition specialist, that's just... A fucking dude based off a combat engineer. Here's my favorite one. So in conclusion, I guess I'm just trying to say, don't let the term engineer lead you to believe that these men and women aren't absolute fucking badasses, because they are. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it will be uploaded on my YouTube channel. There is a good chance it will get taken down on TikTok. You can find my YouTube channel by typing in The Fat Electrician in the search bar, or there is a link in my TikTok bio. There's also a link in my bio for my beer fund if you should feel the need to buy me a beer. So until next time, thank you for your service.